great martyr Demetrius the Murgusher of Thessaloniki was the son of a Roman proconsul. Three centuries had elapsed and Roman paganism, spiritually shattered and defeated by the multitude of martyrs and confessors of the Savior, intensified its persecutions. The parents of St. Demetrius were secret Christians, and he was baptized and raised in the Christian faith in a secret church in his father's home. By the time Demetrius had reached maturity and his father had died, Emperor Maximian had ascended the throne. Maximian, confident in Demetrius's education as well as his administrative and military abilities, appointed him to his father's position as proconsul of the Thessaloniki district. The young commander's principal duties were to defend the city from barbarians and to eradicate Christianity. The emperor's policy regarding Christians was expressed simply. Put to death anyone who calls on the name of Christ. The emperor did not suspect that by appointing Demetrius he had provided him with the opportunity to bring many people to Christ. Instead of persecuting and executing Christians, he began to teach the Christian faith openly to the inhabitants of the city and to overthrow pagan customs and the worship of idols. The Lord also destined St. Demetrius to follow St. Paul on the path to martyrdom. When Maximian learned that the newly appointed proconsul was a Christian, and that he had converted many Roman subjects to Christianity, the emperor's rage knew no bounds. Returning from a campaign in the area of the Black Sea, the emperor decided to lead his army through Thessaloniki, determined to massacre the Christians. Learning of this, St. Demetrius ordered his faithful servant Lupus to give his wealth to the poor, saying, Distribute my earthly riches among them, for we shall seek heavenly riches for ourselves. He began to pray and fast, preparing himself for martyrdom. When the emperor came into the city, he summoned Demetrius, who boldly confessed himself a Christian and denounced the falsehood and futility of Roman polytheism. Maximian ordered Demetrius to be thrown into prison. An angel appeared to him, comforting and encouraging him. Meanwhile the emperor amused himself by staging games in the circus. His champion was a German by the name of Leios. He challenged Christians to wrestle with him on a platform built over the upturned spears of the victorious soldiers. A brave Christian named Nestor went to the prison to St. Demetrius, his instructor in the faith, asking for his blessing to fight the barbarian. With the blessing and prayers of St. Demetrius, Nestor defeated the fierce German and hurled him from the platform onto the spears of the soldiers. The enraged commander ordered the execution of the holy martyr Nestor, and sent a guard to the prison to kill St. Demetrius. At dawn on October 26, 306 soldiers appeared in the saint's underground prison and ran him through with lances. His faithful servant, St. Lupus, gathered up the blood-soaked garment of the saint. He then took the imperial ring from his finger and dipped it in the blood. With the ring and other holy things sanctified with the blood of St. Demetrius, St. Lupus began to heal the infirm. The emperor ordered his soldiers to arrest and kill him. The Christians buried Demetrius and Nestor together in the bath where Demetrius had been imprisoned. During the 7th century, a miraculous flow of a fragrant scent was found emanating from his tomb. Thus the title of Murgusher was assigned to the holy saint. His tomb, containing his relics, is now in the crypt of the church of St. Demetrius in Thessaloniki. St. Demetrius is revered as the patron saint of Thessaloniki. He is believed by the people as having intervened to save the city over the years from invading foreigners. From the Slavic nations, Bulgarians, Arabs, Saracens, and many more. Since his martyrdom, St. Demetrius has been regarded as the defender of the soldier. As his prayers granted Nestor victory over Leios, may they also grant us victory over our greatest foes.